Hey, Alicia, how's it going? Good, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Thanks for joining me today. I'm really excited about this topic that we're talking about because it has to do with the kiddos. And, you know, a lot of the times, especially for little kids, the dentist can kind of be a scary place. Um, so they don't really want to go there. And, and they also need to learn these, these techniques for brushing their teeth and flossing so that they have the best oral hygiene that they can, and, you know, especially starting at a young age. So how can parents encourage their children to be excited about oral hygiene and the dentist? So we all know it's hard to get in routine, even as adults, brushing, flossing, seeing the dentist regularly. So when it comes to the kids, we have to be extra excited. Everybody has to be excited. Everybody has to be into it because kids just don't want to do it, especially with going to the dentist, having fingers in their mouth and all the tools. They're not the biggest fans of that. So at home, first of all, we need to set good examples as parents, as guardians, as grandparents, whoever the kids are going to be with. We have to be on our own routine. So brushing, flossing twice a day, do it with your children. So do it at the same time so they can see you do it. Talk about the dentist in a positive way. So either have them come with you and see how it goes, or even if you're terrified of the dentist, just fake it till you make it make them not have that fear that you have. So from a young age, the more that they're seeing and the more that they're exposed to, the less likely that they'll be afraid of the dentist. And then another thing is with using their favorite characters or animals that they like. Um, my biggest example when our parents ask me in the office is like, what should I do? And I always say, if they love dinosaurs, that's the perfect thing or lions, animals with big teeth, so you can talk about how they're chomping on stuff and who gets caught in their big chompers and you gotta clean it off. So even if you have any stuffed animals or little figures, take a toothbrush and practice on an animal. So talk through it. Same with Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh loves honey. We gotta get that sugar off Winnie the Pooh's teeth. So we talk through things with characters and animals and things that they enjoy so that it's not just like, oh, you have to do this. It's, oh, your favorite cartoon character has to do it too. So they become more inclined to doing those things if something that they like is also doing it. Um, the next thing is getting a toothpaste and toothbrush that they like. So a flavor of toothpaste that they enjoy, a favorite color for their toothbrush. So they feel like they're making the decision and they're the ones that want to do this. So they're excited on their own. And then the last thing is, as far as cavities go, it's important to be honest and educate. And of course, we want to prevent cavities, but try not to use that as a scare tactic because that just causes more fear down the road if they do have a cavity. So we always want to talk in a positive light. We have to brush our teeth. We have to floss. It might not be fun, but it helps make our, our mouths healthy and our whole body healthy. So try not to scare them into doing things. Try to make it more of an exciting thing. Wonderful. I mean, just hearing you talk about that, I can tell that you're definitely really good with the kids. I, I love the different examples that you gave about songs or, you know, talking about the, the stories with the animals. That's fantastic. And I, I really hope that, you know, if, as a parent or a guardian, if you're watching this right now, I hope that those tips helped. Um, if you have a child who is a little apprehensive about the dentist, you know, try to try to work through each of those things that Alicia outlined, because I definitely um, see where it could really help them gain more of a confidence and look at dental health and going to the dentist as a fun, positive thing versus something that might not be scary or might be scary and might be kind of a chore. So thank you, Alicia, again, for joining me today. And thank you so much for watching.